Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much for all the views and uh, lovely comments from my previous videos. Um, I'm glad you've all enjoyed them, uh, like the tour around, uh, tour around the Pemberley campus here at Falmouth and um, day in the life of a person ed student. Uh, a request I've had quite often is what's the nightlife like um, at Falmouth University? Well, today is Thursday, it is a student night, but it's a special uh, Thursday as well, it's St Patrick's Day. So uh, let's go into town and have it. Yeah, so this is uh, Beer Wolf, a uh, good place for, lo for local, um, for uni courses. A lot of people come here um, in the evenings and here a few of my course mates uh, already. Good place to be allowed to bring your own food in. Is that okay? There's Ali. He wants to, he wants to plug his, his Instagram account. So go and check out Nick on Photography on Instagram. Um, yeah, good place. Uh, they sell good local ales. Um, always a good atmosphere, as you can probably hear. The, um, Hear all the Irish music before it's in Paddy's night. So, yeah, good pub, good pub this place. Are you even recording? Yeah. I don't think you are. Ah, um, yeah, he is. So, yeah, that was Finn's. Never been in there before. Yeah, kind of yeah, kind of interesting. Typical Irish pub. I think Guinness is like a pound fifty. They've done it like really cheap. I don't know if that's a if that's a St Patrick's Day deal or if it's just like that. But I think it normally is quite cheap. Um, so yeah, that was the Irish pub. Things here. Local for my for my course, you can always find someone who does my course in here. Great little place. They do they do food, they do cocktails, um, they do beers as well. Yeah, like um, it's like four quid for a beer. Um, but other than that, really good place, great atmosphere, and always good. Place. Now coming up for the for the infamous um, club I, which never been into. Time to get first impressions. So that was Club I. Uh, never been in before, it's kind of, so it was okay. Um, I needed to get drunk to uh, be in there. Um, yeah, you need to be a bit drunk, really, in there. Uh, um, yeah, I think that's. I don't know if that's going to be in there or not. Or not. Um, yeah, sorry, I've had a bit of drink. I had a bit to drink. I couldn't do that. The atmosphere, this is how much atmosphere you get. And it goes all the way down the street. People queuing up for, for the bank and going in the mangoes or club by. Like drinking, but this place hot on the corner um, is fantastic. Um, they stay as well. Um, and so all kinds of stuff which is good. Um, yeah, the one of the only places is one other kebab shop um, up the road, but you're not allowed to leave there. And Subway's open until one, but no hot food after in that place. So yeah, this end of town's quite bad at the moment. Everyone's at Kebab. Uh, I lost everyone. Um, everyone's with, I lost them. Uh, which is sort of why you need to be with a group or with like, a partner or something like that, like, you know, like, lose them. Um, I lost everyone. Um, if I was with someone, they had someone else, so I was free wheeling, third wheeling, even. Um, so, yeah, that's some of the nightlife here in town. But there's one more place that isn't in town, which is always there.
course, none other than Falcon's own Stannery. This is the Space Party, hence why I'm dressed as a Jedi with a cool double bladed lightsaber. So many people are jealous of it. There's at least two parties a month here, and it's absolutely great. Great music, great atmosphere. Absolutely love it here. But I love it. Sunny events are always, always, always great fun. There's always one problem though. That's the queue. It goes up the stairs and then back down to get in over there. thing about the stannery, apart from it being packed, <laughs> um, that actually it's the biggest venue in Cornwall, amazingly. There's always free drinks and parties at people's flats, always before a standard event. It's always a great, great fun. So that was the space party at the Stannery. Um, yeah, like I said in in there, if you didn't hear me, um, it's probably an event twice a month. Um, you can dress up if you want, you don't have to. Um, it's fun if you do, particularly if it's something like space and dress up as a Jedi with a double-bladed lightsaber, which like everyone wants to touch and have a look at. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to follow my flatmates. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fun. Nights are like that all the time. Tickets normally about seven quid and you get about a month in advance. Um, and they're great fun. They go on from about seven till about two in the morning. So it's two now while I'm filming. Um, I just feel I need to, rep to report how well it went down being a Jedi. There was even a light an organized lightsaber fight. There was like five of us. <laughs> all with lightsabers. Um, and so many people just have a thing, so many Vaders and Kylo Ren's and Rays and loads of Star Wars characters. When I originally thought of my hair, I was looking more like an Obi-Wan Kenobi, particularly because I've got the saber. Um, and then people said, actually, your hair's so long, you look more like Qui-Gon Jinn. I was like, mm, okay. Well, I was like, I was, prefer to be Liam Neeson over Hugh McGregor. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the stannery biggest venue in Cornwall when it does things like that um so yeah that's the nightlife here in Falmouth hope you enjoy this video uh please hit, hit subscribe um it'd be great yeah and I'll keep uh, trying to post more videos like this more regularly thanks for watching bye